Hey everyone! In today's tutorial I show you how I painted my self-portrait Gold Rush. As you can see in the reference photo, I used a photo of myself as a base for this portrait. In the photo I wore blue contact lenses to create kind of an ethereal look. I paint on a canvas panel from Trek Hell and I love them because they are already finished and I can just start to paint. And for those of you who are interested in the artwork, I still have a couple of these beautiful limited edition fine art prints in my online shop left. You will find links to that in the video description as well. Now, before we start, I wanted to let you know that you can watch the full 25 minutes long extended version of this tutorial on my Patreon page. Just join me at the advanced student reward level on my Patreon page which costs only $10 a month and grants you immediate access to almost 200 painting videos. My tutorials cover oil, acrylic, watercolor, color pencil and mixed media techniques. And in each of the tutorials, you can paint along with me and have a finished artwork at the end. I also have a community page where you can share your artwork with us and get feedback from me. So head over to the video description and join me on Patreon. I'm super excited to see you there. I begin the painting with acrylic paints and I start with the darkest tones first. The darkest shades in this portrait are the blacks, so I begin with painting in the black lash line first. Next I mix the lip color with cadmium red deep and a bit of white. Most of the face's midtones have a light beige shade. So I mix yellow ochre with a bit of white and olive green to fill those in. Next I paint the light midtones on the face with a mix of light ochre, burnt sienna and lots of white. Now let's paint in the eyes in the dark grey lower lash line. And now it's time to paint in the beautiful flowers in the background. I absolutely love painting flowers because I can work with my largest brushes and it's just so satisfying. Since flowers never just have only one color, I alternate the white tones of the flowers with grayish pastel rose and blue tones. Next, I fill in all the dark spaces of the composition with a transparent brown tone, which I mixed from gold, olive green and a bit burnt sienna and black. Next, I painted in the left side of the hair with black. I used lots of retarder to create transparent acrylic paint and to make it stay wet longer. I proceed with painting in the remaining areas of the background. I wanted to make this artwork very abstract, so I started with the dripping effects right in the beginning of my painting process. Then I refined the details of the flowers. Here you have to look closely to recognize all the different shades and petals of the blossom. Initially the butterfly was red, later on I changed my mind and painted it gold. But for now I am painting it red. Now where the base of the butterfly is done, I take my detail brush to paint all the fine veins and details of the pattern. Because I painted with acrylics, I can do all of that in one go. Now I want to bring everything together. I want the figure to come out from the background, so I added a stroke of gold next to the hair. Now let's move on to the oil painting part. After having added all sorts of abstractions, the base colors of everything and the details, I can't get further with acrylics, because they don't allow soft blendings. Next, I continued with the lips. 
I actually didn't like the super dark color of the lipstick very much, so I painted the whole lips a lot lighter. You can't see the nostrils really well on the reference photo, and my nose has a weird shape to it, so I only subtly indicate the shadows around it with beige and orange tones. It almost always looks bad when you paint black dots for nostrils. Better is to paint them a bit lighter and subtle, so that they don't really stand out. Now I still needed to work on the lower part of the face. Even though all the shadows are very subtle, they are crucial to create depth. I mixed yellow ochre, olive green, cadmium red light and white to create alternating shades for the skin tones. I wasn't happy with the abstractions, so I added more effects to them. Since this part of the process is only painted with acrylics yet, I can still paint with acrylics over them. After it had dried, I switched to oils to refine parts of the flowers. Especially the large petals need to be painted with paint that has an oily and flowing texture. Paint with which you can draw long brush strokes that blend into the canvas. Acrylic doesn't do that, so I have to overpaint some of the petals with oil again. Then I decided to make the eyes stand out more by making the lashes, the makeup and the pupils darker. And then, because I changed my mind, I painted the butterfly golden. Whenever I do such things, I often test out in Photoshop how they work before I potentially ruin my painting. I only added a couple more abstractions to the painting, but this time was golden oil paint, because the acrylic would not stick on top of the oil. And that's the final painting. I hope you liked it and you are not afraid to try out some abstractions yourself. Don't worry if you have to wipe off some of them again or paint over them. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to leave a comment and watch my next video. Bye bye!